a little bit more on um, lists and their structure. Um, you might have seen, I was talking about concells in another video. I just wanted to go on a bit more uh, of that. We're going to just draw another tree. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. We've seen how this looks. This is going to draw the kind of relationship between the concells. And this slash means nil, which is how um, these lists end. Watch what happens if we put some of the values in a sublist. And here we are. This is how we end up representing trees with concells and with lists. We can nest them. And then what happens is the first concell, well, of course, its car points to one and its coulda points to this concell, uh, which is going to be here. And then the car of that one points down to here, this concell, which contains the two. And that points off on its own chain all the way down to four and a nil. And this one goes down to five and a nil. So again, play with this stuff. Check it out. But this is why kind of consoles are such a powerful thing. With just a pair of values, we can represent lists or trees, all kinds of data structures. Um, they don't even have to have an end. They can be circular, which is something we'll cover in another video because that's a bit weird.